Many of your graduates go into medicine? Yeah, probably around about 50, 60%, I think, am I right? Really? Yes. The way to, that's the way to learn. That's yeah. how it stays in yeah. your mind. It's well, hands-on, yeah? Very hands-on, yeah. do, do you do experiments as well? We do. We have to, as part of the A-level, they have to get practical competence. How to get into medical school where and what to study to become a doctor. My colleague Adi from Mariadi, a senior educational consultant, is asking these important questions today. My answers this time are given by biology teacher Wendy at Oxford International College, which is known for preparing students for entry into the most prestigious universities and top medical schools worldwide. Let's explore how Wendy's students achieve such remarkable success through exceptional teaching methods and dedicated educators at OIC. You're a science teacher? I am a biology teacher. Oh, yes. pleasure to nice meet, to meet you. you. What's your name? My name is Adil. I'm a student recruitment agent. Oh, I'm Wendy. Nice to meet you. Pleasure, pleasure. Biology goes very well with chemistry. Yeah. And many of your graduates go into medicine? Yeah, probably around about... 50, 60%, I think, am I right? Really? Yeah, something yeah, like 50, that. Yeah, 50, 60%. But it's, it's so difficult to get into medicine. How do you manage such a big we, number? They, they work incredibly hard here. We push yeah. them incredibly hard. Massive, yeah. massive pressures. Mm -hmm. And also, we've got an amazing team of people getting them into university. Mm -hmm. So, Jonathan, if you speak to Jonathan, he's, in, he's got an encyclopedic knowledge of worldwide universities but do you have uh, any like extra you know, curriculum ac activities related no. to science do we you? have meds so med -soc, we have medicine debating club mm. we have biology club chemistry club maths club we have do you, have, like, a, do, you do that dissection well? not not so much um, occasionally not so much it's, it's become a little bit even medical school students don't i mean dissection is a thing unless you know what you're looking at opening up anything and, and knowing what you're looking at so the most we do really is heart heart lungs heart fish and lungs, uh. but as teachers that's all we would do uh. but sometimes we'll get them a rat and let them have a play <laughs> but yeah. it's the ethics involved in doing that that's uh, the thing yeah what if you have like a weak stomach do you can you just say we no? Find to? That out. Yeah, yeah, we allow students to sit out if they don't want to. If they, if they don't want to. to. Uh -huh. It's a very good discriminator because if they feel a bit oh, they sometimes that answers the same question as to whether medicine is for them. Exactly, exactly. They have to know in advance if this is the right, right thing for them. Do you do any like uh, mm, field trips? Yeah, we did one in August. We went to Box Hill in Surrey, if I got the county right. Yeah. Box Hill in Surrey. I went. I know them. Box Hill, yeah. So it's, it's a nice nights, area. Yeah. Three days, full on, working till nine o'clock at night. Doing what? Going out sampling, so just jumping into streams and doing kick sampling for freshwater invertebrates. Um, oh, very interesting. Looking at the effect of coppicing on some woodland, mm -hmm. um, doing a transect, so looking at the effect of sort of woodland management mm. and lots of lectures as well. Biology, physics and chemistry are highly practice-oriented subjects. Teaching biology often involves a combination of lectures, laboratory work and problem-solving activities. Students read and analyze scientific articles and texts, participate in group discussions and projects and take tests and exams to demonstrate their understanding of the material. However, it is crucial that this learning is also supported by field practices, which we see are regularly organized at Oxford International College. This aspect definitely deserves a thumbs up. It's very good. It's well, hands-on, yeah? Very hands-on, yeah. do, do you do experiments as well? We do. We have to, as part of the A-level, they have to get practical competence. Ah. So they have to become competent in a number of practicals. Mm -hmm. um, so I think there's about 30 off across the two years. We don't necessarily have to do every one, but they have to get a good spread. Mm -hmm. So that Because obviously we're sending them into practical subjects. So the practical doesn't... But they get examined on the practical in their exams, mm -hmm. but not a pra there isn't a practical exam. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. So it's it's teacher assessed tasks within the classroom. So they do the experiments and we watch them and we sign them off to say they've got the competence. But they get to do it themselves. But they do it themselves. We have so many students uh, coming to UK thinking that they don't like or even hate biology and chemistry. Well, when they start studying it in, in this country, they fall in love. I can show you. Those are their practical folders at the back of the room. Yes, they, they're not biology. I think they're... Physics. They might be physics. Yeah. This is mainly a physics lab. We've, we've got green for both. Yeah. So practical endorsement portfolio, mm -hmm. this is for physics, so as is, as is even more, we've got a book. Mm -hmm. They produce a book and we print the book out for them and it takes them through instructions for the experiment. They have to collect data, they have to draw graphs, they have to write conclusions and evaluations and that's their portfolio. I mean biology, they've done a load. This, this is probably a, a new A2 student so there's not many experiments but that will be full are the minimum of 17 experiments. I tend to do more like 25. I try to do all of them. 25 per term? Across or? the two years, oh, but that's, right. that's just the prescribed ones. We might do extra little ones, but mm -hmm. that's sort of a minimum. So that means they're sort of doing about a practical a week. Interesting, usually. yeah, but that's the, way to, that's the way to learn. That's yeah. how it stays in yeah. your mind. And they're scared sometimes. They don't like pouring liquids and they're, you know, you can see they're a bit reluctant, but they get used to doing it. So it doesn't matter if you break something. It's if you spill it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It's <laughs> Just have a go and, yeah. you know. Learn from they mistakes. Learn, they get a lot of confidence from doing it. Right. Yeah, the green ones have got more in them because we've got a printed booklets and mm -hmm. then they just work through them with us. And we're here as just, we're just the facilitator. So we say, those are the instructions, follow the instructions, but we're here to support you as you do it. At Mariadi, we're here to help you make the best choices for your educational journey. With years of experience and a commitment to professionalism and responsibility, we provide expert guidance in selecting the right educational institutions. Reach out for a consultation today by following the contact links in the description. Choose your preferred method and ask us any questions you have. Let's kickstart your application process to the UK together, ensuring it's smooth and stress-free. Well, it's not just medicine. It could be like environmental science. Isn't yeah, it? we don't get many doing that. We have got one student very keen on environmental this year. Um, but lots of, lots of medics, quite a few engineers mm -hmm. from here. Business, law. Yeah, econ, econ economics. Finance, economics yeah. and finance. Politicals, you know, politics. What do you think of the biomedical kind of pathway? Because less time to study than medicine, mm -hmm. biochemistry, biomedicine, and the employability is very high in this uh, industry and in, in this field. Yeah. No? Yeah, I think, um, I mean, it's, it's less vocational in terms of you're not heading towards a known outcome like in medicine. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's still a very good route, but it's very varied as well. There's lots of different biomedical courses. So many it could be pharmacy related, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. And it's hard to know if you're going to be interested in biochemistry or pharmacology until you start doing it as well. Mm. So I think the joint honours degrees are really good because you can you get a flavour of other things and you can maybe specialise in your second and third year. Yeah, you can do that too. All right, okay. Very nice to meet you. Nice to meet Thank you too. You. Pleasure. You're welcome. We have many more episodes from Oxford International College on our channel and there's plenty to see there. You can find all the links in the description. That's all for today. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. If you're interested in studying abroad, subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media. We look forward to your comments and questions, as well as requests for your consultation. See you soon.